In the southeastern corner of Lithuania stands its capital, a bustling city called Vilnius. Nestled beside the Neris River, this renowned city is home to some 550,000 residents of a variety of faiths and ethnicities. Modern and multicultural today, one would never guess that this metropolis was once one of the largest Jewish centers in Europe. Nicknamed the Jerusalem of Lithuania, Vilnius was a beacon for Jews miles away, and its reputation brought people from far and wide to join its thriving Jewish community. In Hebrew, the town was called Vilna, in Yiddish, Vilne. Sharing Vilna with Lithuanians, Russians, Poles and Belarusians has been the norm for Jews since their arrival in the town in the early 1400s. However, the small percentage of Jews in Vilnius today is a departure from its trend in previous centuries. Almost immediately upon arrival, the Jews of Vilna began to grow and rise in its ranks. By 1650, some 3,000 Jews comprised a quarter of the town's residents, and by the start of the 20th century, they numbered 100,000, a staggering 40% of the general population. The Jews of Vilna were as successful as they were numerous. By the mid-1800s, they had constructed over 100 synagogues, including the Great Synagogue, Kleizen and yeshivas that nourished their religious needs. Perhaps their greatest achievement was the Vilna Shas, a shining edition of the Talmud, published in the 1800s by the Ram Publishing Company, that set the standard against which every new edition of the Talmud is judged to this day. Hebrew schools, Yiddish schools, technological schools, hospitals, old age homes and a host of other institutions sprang up to service the thriving Jewish community. All of this beauty and life came to a grinding halt with the Holocaust and its aftermath. The war swept through the town and decimated the lives of thousands of its Jews. Hard upon its heels were 45 years of harsh communist rule. When in 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare its independence from the Soviet Union, what remained of its Jewish community could breathe freely once more. The scattered survivors of Vilna set themselves to the arduous task of restoring, in some small measure, the glory of its past. Surely, one of the greatest sights of Vilna, preserved through the centuries, is its old Jewish cemetery. It is said to have started as early as 1487 making it the first and oldest of Vilna's three Jewish cemeteries. The old Jewish cemetery was paid for in full by the Jewish community. We have records from the 17th century on. Records signed by the kings of Poland and Lithuania indicating that Jews paid in full for the use of the cemetery and eternally. That is, it was theirs as halacha requires that a Jewish cemetery be owned ad infinitum by the Jewish community. So this was the cemetery of the Jewish community, belonged to the Jewish community. It was, however, stolen from them uh, after the Holocaust, uh, when uh, uh, the communists took over Lithuania. Um, it was inherited by independent Lithuania in 1990-1991. It was never restored to the Jews, but this is the property of the Jewish people. The emotional connection that Jews around the world feel towards the Vilna Cemetery stems not only from memory, but also from the multitude of visual aids that have accumulated over centuries of history. Photographers like Joshapas Kamarauskas, who died in 1946, and Jan Bulhak, who died in 1950, were mesmerized by Vilna's Jewish sites, and especially by the old Jewish cemetery. They left us with an abundance of lifelike photographs and sketches of the old Jewish cemetery. Vilna's greatest Jewish scholars recorded and published epitaphs inscribed on hundreds of tombstones, words passed down like jewels to generations of posterity. Maps in our possession mark the locations of hundreds of graves. These artifacts have been passed down for generations, preserving the life of the Vilna cemetery as it was in its prime. The, the old Jewish cemetery 
um, was in use from its inception until 1831, when basically it was filled to capacity uh, and the municipal authorities in Vilna closed the cemetery. From 1831, it became not only an important religious site, but an important historical site. And regularly from 1831 on, pilgrims from all over the world came to visit the old Jewish cemetery to pray at the graves of its famous rabbis and martyrs. Sadly, uh, in um, 1971, Soviet-dominated uh, Lithuania uh, announced that it was going to build, and indeed it did build, a sports palace over the very heart of the old Jewish cemetery. Uh, the Jewish community was not consulted, as you might imagine. Um, this sports palace, a, a small sports stadium used mostly for basketball and those kinds of uh, sports activities, uh, served for many years uh, the uh, community in Lithuania, but, it, but Vilna soon outgrew uh, this particular sports stadium. It was abandoned uh, and new sports stadiums were built elsewhere in Vilna uh, to handle the much larger crowds that needed to be handled for sports events. Um, the sports stadium fell into desuetude and uh, became decrepit and uh, it actually became an eyesore, an abandoned building over the heart of the old Jewish cemetery. I should note immediately that um, probably the construction of the, old, of the sports palace uh, led to the destruction of perhaps up to one quarter of the graves in the old Jewish cemetery. But three quarters of the graves in the old Jewish cemetery are still there. And this has been proven even recently by um, reports from archaeologists, both Jewish and non-Jewish, with Jewish and Lithuanian, who of course found the remains of endless Jewish graves in the old Jewish cemetery, and also by radar studies, which also indicated graves uh, buried beneath the ground. So uh, the old Jewish, Jewish cemetery retains its identity it remains the old Jewish cemetery, and it retains its sanctity. One would have imagined that uh, given this set of circumstances, the Lithuanian government would have uh, um, taken down this sports palace and uh, destroyed this monstrosity that was hovering over the uh, old Jewish cemetery. Instead, surprisingly, in the year 2006, uh, the Lithuanian government announced that they had declared the uh, sports palace a heritage site, uh, which could not be dismantled by law. All that one could do is build within it, paint it, but the, the structure had to remain basically the way it was. This was very strange. No one understood why they made this decision. It became quite clear in the year 2015 that this was just a ploy by which the Lithuanian government made sure that the old Jewish cemetery uh, would not be restored to the Jewish community, but it would be a place where new buildings would be built uh, in a very short time. In 2015, the Lithuanian government announced its plans to construct a convention center and concert hall over the heart of the old Jewish cemetery. Uh, this would be a $25 million project and the, the Lithuanian government announced also that it uh, will be receiving funding from the EU uh, to help pay for this project. Um, this news was shattering to the Jewish community, not only in Vilna, but all over the world. And uh, in response to this, um, a young woman in Vilna, Rute Blostein, uh, who is uh, a Shomer Shabbos woman who bakes challah 
every Friday for the Jewish community of Vilna, started a petition where she described how important the old Jewish cemetery is to Jews all over the world and in Vilna as well. And all she asked for was a change of venue. She doesn't mind Vilna constructing a convention center and concert hall. Let it be done elsewhere in Vilna, not over the old Jewish cemetery. And she started this about at the beginning of uh, 2017. Some 39,000 persons, Jews and Christians, all over the world have signed the petition supporting the construction of a convention center and concert hall in Vilna, but in a venue other than over the old Jewish cemetery. The cemetery must be restored. Those who argue that this is impossible need only to look at the old Jewish cemetery in Frankfurt, Germany to be proven wrong. Situated in the center of the town, the old graveyard has been restored with beauty and dignity, an oasis of calm within the pulsating city. The Vilna Cemetery too should be planted with trees and greenery, fenced in with dignity as befits a holy place. The last thing Vilnius needs is another destroyed Jewish site bearing a plaque that reads, Here resided the old Jewish cemetery of Vilna. This must be stopped. Too many times have the Jews been subjected to persecution, harsh decrees and false promises. For too long, they have watched helplessly as their most sacred laws have been broken and their dearest values have been trodden underfoot. This time, we stand together and beg the world to stand with us. The cemetery in Vilna must remain intact. Our ancestors struggled and bled for our future. We must do the same for their past. One of the highest moral callings is respect for the dead. For those who do not pay proper homage and treatment of those who have passed on, do not treat life with respect. We have a situation today in Vilnius where a cemetery, one of the last remnants of a glorious community, faces destruction for the construction of a convention center. There are many locations which would be suitable and fitting for that kind of an institution not on top of the cemetery, one of the few remnants, one of the few reminders of what was once a glorious center of Jewish learning and Jewish life. Tens of thousands of people have rallied to this cause because they understand the significance. We appeal to the government of Lithuania, a democratic government, a member of NATO, a member of the EU that subscribes to these values and to the norms that we all cherish to today make the right decision to stop the construction of the convention center on the cemetery, to accord those people the lasting rest and peace they're entitled to. It will also be a reminder to those who perished in the Shoah and the Holocaust that there is a new era, an era, era of respect for the Jewish living and for the Jewish dead. So we ask that everyone join in appealing to the government of Lithuania that they will stand up at this moment and do the right thing. We know they can, we know they have. We hope they will do it now. <laughs>